All right, guys, what's up? Gonna do a update video here. I've been out of town for a couple weeks, and the update video is gonna be on flying with your firearms. I um, been out of town and was down in Florida. Made it down to Orlando. Uh, did some work for about a week down there. Got to spend a day out uh, out shooting at an outdoor range with uh, Steve, making master class, and Mr. Robert. Uh, D Slayer 152. Anyhow, appreciate that. Robert uh, is a member of this private range, and we uh, we had a great time. Uh, just outstanding weather. It was uh, great to shoot some of his Smith and Wesson M&P pistols. He has a the the M&P nine millimeter and the M&P 45, and so uh, he has them really tricked out, set up for competition. The triggers were. Uh, just outstanding. They were, they were smooth as butter and uh, the actions, everything was, uh, I really enjoyed shooting with those guys and uh, then I made my way over to the Fort Lauderdale area so got to got to do some uh, fun in the sun. Well, I guess <laughs> a couple of days of rain but uh, other than that we, uh, we had a, a great time over in Fort Lauderdale. Um, beach and everything and I did get to hang out with uh, Anthony PR Chico we ran into Gabby um, from Top Shot and um, she was doing some training with another young lady there so got to got a chance to talk with her and meet her a lot of fun to hang out with them in person anytime any chance I get to uh, go down there and see those guys so with that to the gun purchase here I ended up hooking up with John from Veracity Nation. He uh, had a gun that uh, we struck a deal on and I was able to pick it up from him and did my research of course before I uh, went down there to purchase the gun. And we got um, a beautiful Smith & Wesson m and um, Basically what Delta Airlines says is that it's got to be in the factory case or some form of gun secured gun case that you can lock and then also add a combination or uh, master lock with a key of some sort and uh, and that was it so as I made my way to the airport I um, went up to the counter with the representative my wife and my granddaughter went over to the kiosk they checked in separately I told the guy that was helping us carry our luggage up that I had something to declare he knew right away. He just said, you got a firearm? And I said, yes. He said, no problem. Just stand right here in this line. When she calls you up, just tell her what's going on. I did. She, she just said, uh, no problem. Where's my, give her my ID. And um, she had me open up my suitcase and she said, don't unlock the gun case. Just let me see it. Um, which was much more spot on than the last time I went because that guy did ask me to open up my gun case which was totally wrong um, from from what I've uh, investigated and checked out through TSA so after she looked at it noticed you know knew that they're verified that there was a lock on it she just had me f fill out or just sign off actually on this firearm unloaded tag and it just laid in my suitcase on top of the box on top of the case threw in a my jacket on top of it, zipped it back up, and off she went. So, no problems at all. Alright guys, thanks. Take it easy. As you can see, got a couple of bottles of Maker's Mark before I actually... How do you like the camo too, by the way? I don't, I don't, I don't own too much stuff in camo. So. Alright guys, I forgot to uh, actually show you the gun I purchased. So, this is the Smith & Wesson M&P 45. Just a uh, beautiful gun. It is clear. Safety salios. 10 rounds of 45 ACP. Safe direction. And uh, this was, again, like I said earlier, one of uh, the guns I got to shoot when I was shooting with Robert and Steve. But um, yeah, got. Uh, pick this up from John and see how she runs so far I'm digging the grip the sights trigger needs a little work I know apex has that complete trigger set so yeah man really digging the MMP line so 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy.